Alright, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today we're going to rid this tank of this Aptasia. I am going to be the uh, scientist here and try something a little new. I have not seen it online. I don't know how it's going to go, but I want to try it my way. So I've looked online and I've, and I've heard different stories about trying to kill off the Aptasia and the spreads and things like that. I mentioned in the last video I've used Aptasia X. That don't work. I've also had recommendations of lemon juice, the file fish I found out will eat the invertebrates as well as the mollusks, and they will go after the coral once the aptasia is gone. So that's not an option. One thing that's when you're selecting your rock, that's why they say buy dry rock, because it's free of pests. So I, my theory is that if I dried out the rock, the aptasia would die. So how do I speed that process up? I'm going to try to do this with a heat gun. Don't judge me yet. Don't say anything yet. Let's see how this goes, and then we're going to go and put this back in here, and we're going to see how well this works. If it works, feel free to steal this idea. This is not mine, but I want to try this out. I want to start having corals in here. If you notice, our star polyp is finally starting to come out. It took a couple of days because of that coral dip, but now... I'm addicted. Now I want to see this tank full of corals. I'm going to remove this, these two lights. I'm going to put this on our quarantine system. I haven't even shown you guys what's in the quarantine tank. But I want to remove these lights. I'm going to remove this board. I'm going to put a different light on this tank. And we are going to have this tank full of beautiful corals. So, let me get this rock up out of here. And then I will see you at the table where we have this heat gun testing this theory. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so here we are. We got this handy dandy heat gun right here. And uh, we're gonna test this theory. So the part that I don't like is what we may lose our little uh, spiny starfish, but we never put them into this tank anyway. They came on the rock work and um, we could always add more starfish later on, guys. So this right here is the Aptasia, right there. So, and then you see it all over here. So all the little shiny areas, that's the Aptasia. So let's let's test this theory. Let's see how this uh, see how this go. So this uh, this heat gun is a Wagner. Got it on all the way. It turn black. Definitely killing them. These are sponges. We didn't even put these here. Again, tank on the rock. So this is one way of drying this out fast. It's clear that this is still going to take some time. But I think in the end, it's actually going to be worth it. But we will find out. So I'm basically going to repeat this process. You see how that turned black? So I'm basically going to repeat that process with every single one of these adaptations. 
And yes, we're going to lose out on our uh, beneficial bacteria that's colonized on this rock. But we also had a bunch of um, unwanted pets on this rock. So this a little close up on this one, babe. So there's another one right there. One more time, I'm going to show you. And then I'll actually just go ahead and take care of this. And then uh, we'll be back. We will not know how well this works until they are back, until this rock is back inside the tank. And once uh, once they get comfortable enough to try to come back out, but I am going to do, there's another one, I'm gonna do a good job at making sure that this rock is completely dried out. So like I said, this is just one way of speeding up the process. If this works, great. And I definitely think uh, this might be an option for you all. So I wanted to do this before I introduced more corals and then the corals growing on the rock and it would be a lot more difficult to pull this out and do such a thing. But since the only coral I have is a star polyp in there, the anemone is not attached to the rock, you know. Yeah, we lose all of the beneficial bacteria that will come back. But in the end, we'll definitely be able to have some very, very beautiful coral. And that's what I want. I want to have a beautiful reef tank. So, this is going to take a while. But, uh, I'll be back, guys. All right, so so far, we have all of these eradicated of the adaptation. We still got, still got a little bit more to do. I've been saving this big one right here for last. But I think it's going to be a success. I think it's going to do just what it was intended to do. Obviously, this is not a viable option. If you uh, if you have coral on the rock, but being that I don't, like I said said earlier in the video, this is definitely a quick option, and I will let you know by the time this video come out whether or not it was a success. So I'm not putting it out today. I actually want to allow the rock to sit up in there for a couple of days to see if any Atasia do come back, sprout out, whatever. But um, obviously, you guys are gonna stay updated because I hope that notification bell is here and I hope that you are subscribed to the channel. But um, we got lots of coral coming. We have a lot more interesting videos on this 37 gallon. I think we're gonna put, don't have to go over here, but I think the light that I have on my quarantine tank on a 20 gallon is going to be the light that we're going to put over there so i'll probably do that in another video i might do it in this one i don't know no matter what you'll find out by the end of this whether or not we got that light on there so um i will pick back up the camera or i have my wonderful camera woman pick back up the camera once we get down to this last piece of rock so as you can see it's popping and everything um, I think that's a good sign. That means that some of these organics are possibly dying. Uh, but when you do this, if you decide to go this route, it does have a little bit of a smell to it because you're burning, um, you're burning little organisms and stuff. So make sure your windows are open. We have to go open and have the windows open. Make sure we have a fan on. But um, yeah, I have not seen a video like this. Maybe it's because I'm a little crazy. But I also feel like that I like to think outside of the box, you know, so that's how I came to this conclusion to try it this way. And if it works, you have seen it first right here on the fish corner. So I will be right back when we're down to this last rock. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so we are down to the last piece of rock. I got all of that over there taken care of, at least to the best of my ability. And uh, 
may feel like this is a little extreme. I don't know. Don't feel too extreme to me. But I feel like my end goal is to make sure that I had to do this one time, put them off one time. That's why I'm taking my time with this because I don't want to put this in there and then see them come back and I got to do it again and things like that. And that's kind of like what happens when you try these other methods. You know, like I said, I had the Aptasia X. That don't work. Great product, great seed, great brand. That don't work. Um, you could try lemon juice. I've heard stories that it don't work. I heard some success stories when they said it do work. That's up to you. You know, you could try boiling water. You could try a little bit of um, hydrogen peroxide. Like, there's so many different methods that you could try online. And it's really, in the end, up to you about what you feel comfortable doing and uh, and what you actually feel like doing. You know what I mean? So, um, I felt like doing this. I was comfortable with doing this. So, this is my method right here. So, again, I'm just pretending to be the mad scientist here. I'm going to give it a shot, see how this works out. And if it works, you know, you could try it for yourself. You know, uh, if you have any questions, I could definitely answer them for you. Um, I have no problem with doing that. But uh, if this works, this right here to me is one of the cheapest and easiest methods. This takes a little bit of time. I already had the heat gun, so I didn't have to buy this. I mean, if you want to buy one for this for this process, it's like twenty bucks, maybe fifteen dollars, cheaper than the FX cheaper than a lot of different things you know even cheaper than buying a fish to eat the aptasia and then to eat your court you know what i mean so you know how it could go but again i just wanted to try it my way try the way that i just thought of and what led me to this was thinking about since the aptasia don't live can't live on dry rock what's the fastest way i could go about drying off the rock it was either the blow dryer or the heat gun what the heat gun does is it allows me to target kill this aptasia and as fast as possible so that's what i've done i've killed all that tasia now i'm drying the rock heating up the rock i'm going inside of these holes letting the heat push through all the different crevices and uh i think i'm gonna have success with this and that also allows me to not only do another painting on my tank but i can reposition this rock um, in a better way so when I do start adding this coral back up in here and we're adding any future coral and things like that it's looking as best as I want it to look and as best as it could look so moving forward I will not be just buying live rock even if it's even if it's a piece of live rock that's in the water and I really like it I will make sure that I use this method on it right here and kill off any kind of host that I do not want in my tank again not all hosts are bad we had a couple little um, spiny starfish that I did like we had a couple slugs that I did like I wasn't too fond of the pineapple sponge and I obviously wasn't too fond of Aptasia and it's funny because I know in a couple videos you'll recall me actually saying I didn't mind it. Well, that was before I wanted to have corals in my tank. And as I mentioned the last video or a couple videos ago, that if I do decide to have coral, we're going to have to do something about that aptasia. So here we are. We're doing something about that aptasia. And we're going to have some beautiful coral in this 37 gallon. This monster tank right here, this is just for the beast. That's for the monsters. So I don't want no coral in there, but that 37 gallon, it's a beautiful tank, small tank, easy to manage, easy to maintain. It deserves some coral. We deserve some coral, don't we? So <laughs> yes, yeah, we we're gonna add some coral in here. My baby wants coral. She loves a coral. As you've seen at the back when we went to Exotic Aquarium, <laughs> she, was in, she was in awe at the beautiful coral. So we gonna have some coral, y'all. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Then I'm gonna rinse off this rock before I put it back in there. And then um, we'll see if it works. Catch you in a minute. That. All right, guys, so we have this thing complete. We got the rockscape back in there. 
no Aptasia peeking out. It looks beautiful. I was able to put my star polyp up there finally, so I don't have to worry about the Aptasia attacking it, stinging it, things like that. I also put the light up there. I said I wasn't sure, but I actually went ahead and took off that piece of wood, took off the lights that I'm gonna put on the quarantine tank. And now we have this beautiful light up here. I will provide you with the link in the description just in case you wanna get the same one. I had it on the 150, I had 200 actually on a 150. A little bit of water got in the top of it and it just, uh, you know, it burned out the light. But nonetheless, this is a beautiful, perfect light. I love this because you can adjust it. Look at that. When you adjust it like that, you're able to see all the beautiful colors coming out. You gotta go a little bit higher, babe. Look at that. It's a little, there we go. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why I really, really like this light. You could adjust it any way you want. You could take the blues all the way off. Or, but I'm gonna run it with a little bit of the blue. My bae says she like it with the blue. So we're running it a little blue. So just like this, this is how it's gonna look from now on. And once we add in, once we add in some more coral, some reds, some oranges, some yellows, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for that. Um, I decided to take to I decided to take the mangrove out. Reason being is because the tank is so tall, it was quite hard to get it to hang above the water level. Even if I would have got some um, some frag plug holders, it still with this top, it just really wasn't wasn't gonna work. So um, I have it on a quarantine tank, the 20 gallon, so they're sticking out the water, so hopefully those will do better. But um, for this tank we're done, I decided to clean it out, clean the filters, um, vacuum out the gravel, the sand. It looks good. It's, it's a little cloudy right now because it just got a cleaning, but I am happy with this. I will definitely keep you posted on knowing whether or not the Aptasia decided to come back. And, uh, we got plenty more beautiful videos that come along with this tank right here. I mean, look at it, stunning. 37 gallon stand built by yours truly. We got two clowns in here. We got two yellowtail damsels. We have a fire shrimp. We have a cleaner shrimp. We have hermit crabs, Halloween hermit crab, a sand star. Um, I was able to save one of our, our, our spiny starfish. Um, so, and we also got some nasteria snails in there. I think we got like three, but, um, I only was able to find two, but whatever. Anyway, we are far from done with this tank. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that notification bell is hit. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page, The Fish Corner. In the description down below, I'll provide my link tree. In the link tree, you can find my Teespring account. If you wanna purchase some merch to help support the channel further, it'll be greatly appreciated. It's never expected. And until next time, guys, peace.